Hi there. This video I recommend watching after you've seen at least the introduction to my other video on bed mass. Okay. Uh, the order of operations, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Okay. So watch that video first if you want um, like more of a background on bed mass. This video here is what it says. It's lots of examples using bed mass. If you like, you don't have to listen to this whole video. You could scan through it and look for questions that are similar to maybe what you have in your own homework. But I'm going to start whipping through these quickly. Wouldn't be surprised if I make a few mistakes along the way because I'll be going kind of quickly. And uh, maybe I should have gone through these questions before looking at this video. But let's just wing it and go for it, okay? So let's look at the first question without any further ado, okay? <laughs> So first of all, brackets. Well, I see 6 minus 2 here, and 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay, so I don't know if I'll have room to write everything out either. I might actually have to do some things just verbally. Okay, after brackets, we've dealt with them. Next is exponents, okay? So, um, yeah, it's, it is going to be a tight space here. Um, let's do the exponents here. So 4 to the power of 2, that means 4 times 4, which is 16. So we now have 3 times 16 plus 9 divided by 3. At this point, we just have multiplication here and division here, and that's what we need to do next. Multiplication, sorry, division and multiplication. And uh, I just do them left to right. So um, 3 times 16, we can quickly do that. If you don't want to do it on paper, we can just, or we could have done that in our head, I guess, but there we go. 48 plus, well, 9 divided by 3, that's nice and easy, 3. So the final answer in this question is going to be 48 plus 3, that should be 51. Hopefully that is correct. Okay, I'll just circle it when I'm done. Let's move on. Uh, should we go left to right and then like that? Sure, sounds great. Okay, this one has no exponents to deal with. Um, there is multiplication right here. We got to deal with that before we do um, addition or subtraction. So we have 5 minus 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1. Then we just go left to right, okay? So 5 minus 6 is negative 1. Wow, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So 0 seems to be the final answer here. I know I'm going to get lots of comments if I end up messing up some of these. Now, the next one. Multiplication, addition, and then multiplication again. Just multiply. I'm going to try to do this with less words. 12 plus 32. Well, 42 plus 2 is 44. That should be the answer there. This one here, what should we do first? Well, 3 squared we're supposed to do first because it's an exponent. 3 times 3 is 9. Just be careful, 3 to the power of 2 is not 6. A lot of people make that mistake. And 2 times 8 is 16. Whoops, almost wrote an, an 18 by accident. And this plus this should be 25. Okay, let's keep motoring along. 100 minus 6 times 3. Well. It's 100 minus 6 times 3 is 18. What's 100 minus 18? If you have, uh, if you're able to do this in your head, please do it. And if you're telling me that the answer is 82, I would agree with you. Hopefully, we're both right. This question here is kind of like the first one. So let's do the brackets first. 5 minus 3 is 2 squared minus 6 times 2. Okay, well, we don't have enough room here, so I'm just going to... Hmm. 2 squared, that's like saying 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 4 is 16, minus 6 times 2 is 12. Final answer here should be 4. Alright, let's move on to the next page because time is of the essence. Should I use blue here? Can you see that? I'll use yellow. It's, it just shows up better. Okay, I will let you read this if you like. 
Um, it's just saying that you can include the whole top once you figure out, in other words, figure out the numerator, figure out the denominator, and then and then d deal with that situation, okay? So let's just look at the numerator first of all. Um, if we look across the top, we see multiplication, negative 5 times 3, do you see that? Okay, well that's negative 15 minus, now we have 6 times negative 2, so 15, negative 15 minus 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, and on the bottom what do we have? 3 cubed divided by 3 squared. Wow, they're like, they're, they're really enjoying making some crazy looking questions here. 3 to the power of 3. Okay, that's like saying 3 times 3 times 3, and over here is just 3 times 3. Um, yes, there are math videos I have on how to deal with this in a very quick way when you have the same base. We just have to subtract the exponents, but if I start talking like that, I'm afraid it's going to be confusing. So let's just go 3 to the power of 3 is 27 divided by 3 to the power of 2, which is 9. And luckily for us, we can, we can simplify this situation. Okay? Since we just talked about it on the bottom, what is 27 divided by 9? It's th 9 times 3 is 27, so 27 divided by 9 would give us 3. On the top, there's other math videos I have on how to add or subtract integers, and you're welcome to watch those if this is confusing. But whenever you have two minus signs or two negative signs like this, um, you add the opposite or you just change the signs, okay? You can add the opposite. It's like saying negative 15 plus 12. So the answer should be negative 3, and it happens to be over 3. Wow, this question suddenly looks a lot easier. This divided by this is just negative 1, and that's our answer. We must have done this one right. That makes me feel good. Okay, next question. Oh boy, there's three here, and look at them. Okay, <laughs> don't let it overwhelm you one question at a time. Keep your eyes on just one question at a time, and let's keep going. Here we go. 5 minus, what's inside the brackets? Wow, they're throwing fractions at us here. Is your teacher giving you questions like this too? Wow. So to do this question, you need a common denominator. So you need to watch a video that I have previously posted on how to subtract fractions. If you already know how, that's fantastic. So what you're going to do is, we're, our common denominator is going to be 6. So because the common denominator is 6, I should have used a different color pen, like a purple here. The common denominator is going to be 6. 2 times 3 is 6, so you have to multiply the top by 3. And 3 times 2 makes 6, so multiply the top by 2. So it's like saying 3 minus 2 over 6. 3 minus 2 is 1, and the 6 just stays the same when you do that. And that is squared. And let's keep going. There's our equal sign. We're just going to keep lining up here. 5 minus, what is 1 sixth times 1 sixth? Again, the last video I did was on multiplying fractions. So just, or two videos ago, it was on multiplying fractions. So to multiply a fraction by itself, it's like saying 1 times 1 is just 1, and 6 times 6 is 36. Or you could say that little exponent 2 goes here and goes here to meet everybody inside, and 1, time t 1 to the power of 2 is just 1, 6 to the power of 2 is 36. Now, oh, this question just keeps on trucking. We need to make a common denominator. So underneath the 5, we have an invisible 1 there that I just wrote in. So if we wanted to make a common denominator of 36 for both, what is, well we had to times 1 by 36, so we have to multiply 5 times 36, okay? So if you take a calculator and do that, you should get 180. Feel free to push pause and do that if you like. And then we have 180 minus 1, it's 179 over 36. Not a pretty question, people. And 179 over 36. Um, 
we can make this into a mixed number to finish it off. I don't think there's a number that we can divide to uh, reduce this. So we're going to keep the 36 there. 36 times what would get us very close to 179? 36 times 4. And on the top, 36 times 4, what would be left over? So 36 times 4 is 144. So 179 minus 144 is 35. We are now done this question. That was kind of a ridiculous question. I wonder if your teachers are giving you stuff like that. Let's move on. Let's try to get over this one and move on. <laughs> okay. Wow. I just randomly picked some of these questions to do with you, and I probably should have looked at them first before going about it. All right, we've got square brackets here, which means let's do the inside of these square brackets first before going out to this one-third here. Wow. So, wow, that's crazy. We need a common denominator here. So 7 times 6, that will be 42. So we're going to have 42 as our common denominator. I could even write that in right here. I'm feeling bad for you guys having to watch me do this. It's painful. Now, 7 times 6 is 42, so 10 times 6 is 60. 6 times 7 is 42, so we have to also go 5 times 7 as well, which is 35. Wow. And we need to figure this out first. Okay, we do not seem to have enough room to do this question because we have to finish this question. Then we have to take that and multiply it by 4 over 1 third. Sorry, 4 over 3. And then after doing all of that, we have to multiply by 2 thirds. Wow. So. Sixty minus thirty-five. What is that, people? Should get twenty-five over forty-two. Times negative one third, or sorry, four over three, plus two thirds. Ah, let's keep going. Sorry, people. You don't, luckily for you, you don't have to do this question, but I started it and it's like I have to continue it now. It's like I'm stuck. So n what I did is I went 25 times negative 4. I get negative 100. And 42 times 3 is 126. Lovely. Plus 2 thirds. Can 3 multiply to become 126? I'm just going to check on my calculator here. Yes, it can. 3 times 42 can become 126. So if I multiply the top and the bottom here by 42, then we will be able to um, have a common denominator. So I'm, t I'm multiplying the top and the bottom by 42. 42 times 2 is 84. Wow, we're almost done. I'm going to move over to here to do this question because we just don't have enough room. I have a better idea. Instead of taking up space there, I can scroll down. Okay, we'll just keep scrolling down. It says extend page. There we go. Crazy, eh, people? Okay. Negative 100 plus 8. Well, that should give you a negative 92 
over 126. Oh, I'm getting tired here. 92 over 126. Um, can that be reduced? Because that would be nice if it could. Um, let's see. It can. We could divide each of these by 2 to give us 46 over 63. And we're subtracting here. Let's go up to the top to make sure to verify that we really are. Yes, we are. We're going one third minus this. So, three times what would be 63? Three times what would be 63? Um, 21, I believe. So, if we multiplied both the top and the bottom by 21, I don't know why I just changed it by accident, but people, we're getting close to the end of this question, and I'm just so excited because it was it went on way longer than I wanted. So 21 minus 46 is going to give us a negative number, negative 25 over 63. I'm not sure if we can reduce that. Um, it cannot be reduced. I've just tried it out a little bit on my calculator and I can't think of a number that divides both of these. So there's our answer. It may be wrong, but I'm just going to accept that right now and keep moving on because I should have, I really should have done that question before talking to you. I apologize. Let's do the next one. 44 over 4. First of all, 44 over 4 is just 11. But before we really look at that 11, I'm just going to draw that line there. We should really do the brackets first. So, yeah, we could. It's okay. We're just going to leave that off to the side. 27 divided by 3. We can do that right now off to the side here. We're not really. We would have had to do it anyway. 27 divided by 3 is 9. At least that's friendlier than the last question. Okay. Plus. Now, 4 times. What's 8 minus 5? 3. Okay, so we have 11 minus 9 plus 4 times 3. It's 12. Oh man, this one's so much quicker than the last question. 11 minus 9 is 2, and 2 plus 12 is 14. Wow, so much nicer. Why couldn't the last question have been like that? Okay, stop complaining. Let's look at this question. <clears throat> okay, let's do the brackets first. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. I'm going to do this verbally now, people. Negative 5 squared, well, that's like saying negative 5 times negative 5. Okay? So negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. So we really have 100 minus 120 times 25 on top. And then on the bottom, we have negative 10 squared, which is really like saying negative 10 times negative 10, which is 100. Okay, <clears throat> let's deal with what's on top first. It's 100 minus, now take a calculator if you want, and just go 120 times 25. It's 3,000. All of that over 100. Let's deal with the top first. 100 minus 3,000 is negative 2,900 divided by 100. So the final answer, whenever you divide by 100, you just move the decimal over two places. You get negative 29, and we're done. Let's keep going. Wow. 